And no telling how that's contributed to her lung problems. Yeah, it may have a lot to do with that. They say that old, that old bowl will get you over a period of time. Oh, yeah. It may some kind of fume or something that gets in you long. Yeah, and Uncle Gene, too. So there's just no telling. Between that and the cigarettes, yeah. that just probably might compounded it. But... <clears throat> It is, okay, we didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they said they're 98% sure it's, it's going to be a home. Mm. Yeah, I wonder if they picked out a name yet. Well, they, yeah, they had talked about Jacob, Jacob Edward, her granddaddy was named Edward in that, but then they got us thinking. You know, that's funny about names, how, it's, uh, you know, it'll be a trend for a while. Mm -hmm. It'll, it'll ever seem like everybody's naming their kids Jacob, you know. Yeah. Kind of going back to them old kind of names like mm -hmm. Maggie, you know. Yeah, and Emma. Yeah. That's my Mike's baby. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess, you know, things work out all right. Old Lisa's going to get about two months off from work on return to leave and go back and get the same job. You know, I think she's making pretty good money now. Yeah. Well, good. And up there and get to, they furnish your car and you have to pay like 200 a month for insurance. They, you know, they drive to a different car every time they show up. They take it out of town. They went over to Canton last weekend. They looked around. Hmm. They to be doing good. You know? Well, good. Well, I'll look up that thing on the computer when we get off the phone and see what I can find out. Okay. Yeah, if you get a phone, I will call them. That's it. It's positive. Sap horse or big. I was like to get a couple of mares, you know, and get them over the cows down here and sell the coal every now and then. Yeah, um, let's see. Well, but you want it to be gated, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I just took it to mean that everybody do not think a saddle horse means gated. Right. Because in these ads, it's saying spotted saddle mare, spotted saddle horse, but it may be gated or not. You have to call them that. Yeah. 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 I don't know when old Toby will have them. Of course, he, he works so much at the comp time. Every time they work over 40 hours, they, you know, even when he goes to court for three or four hours, they, they, he, they, that goes against him. I mean, that's the comp time. He had, one, one time told me he had like 200 hours mm. built up, you know, he can take off, but he, he has to take it off when he can. When, on the other he got that five-bed unit he works on. Uh -oh. There's too many of them ain't off, and he can take off because they, yeah. they, uh, they got finally got them taser guns. Oh, yeah, he was talking about that. Mm. Toby chased one another night. Uh, <coughs> that nigger jumped over eight foot fist. Toby, it stopped him, but he said he he was close enough. He forgot he had that gun. Said I could have just pointed that gun through the fence and shot his ass like mm. laser, but I, didn't, I forgot I had the gun, you know. <coughs> but I think he they run him down on a bicycle. They got some kind of grant now. They ride ride in bad neighborhoods on bicycles. They all had to be shot with that thing. He said that's the worst pain he saw, the worst pain he ever felt. They mm. shot him in that damn tater gun. Mm. It just locks you from all your joint muscles up and gets you free. You know? mm. <coughs> but I guess that was on Melissa's call. I guess they'll probably be down here after a while with, with me. 
eat all them tacos from Easter. That'll be a change. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. So good. You said you may come up. Oh, so good. I think she goes in and out of depression. Mm-hmm. Y'all ought to call her. She, she's setting up her computer. She's got one. She ain't never set it up. But if you ever get that computer set up where she can take emails and things. Yeah. That'd be a lot of company to her. Yeah. Yeah. But I, <clears throat> I kind of hate uh, Kathy Price got my email here a little while ago. I just, and Kathleen, sister said they just send any and everything. She just goes through and deletes. <laughs> and that's about what I'm having to do. <clears throat> when I got an email last week about, from Kathy saying, uh, same song, second verse. Mother fell again. She's now going to have matching pins. That just pit, just flew all over me. Just like, why was she there by herself? You know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I almost wrote back and said, why in the hell was she there by herself? But I didn't. They uh, oh, it's saying, well, she needs to be in assisted living. You know, but shit. Listen, says she's working in place, and she ain't, she might well just be at home and that's just the living shit. They don't, you know, they pretty much in apartments by themselves. Yeah. But they, you know, it sounds like, well, they said this time they wasn't going to let her live by herself, but the way she may insist on it, you know. Yeah. Oh, that, that dog, you know, that well, dog knocked down again, they wouldn't dare tell nobody that. That's why well, she's trying to beat her bird. Well, I asked Bibi, was the dog? She said, no, they... She's forbidden to go outside, but, and the, I don't know, but, you know, Medicare or somebody, or they could, the, Kathy and them could pay for somebody to stay with her during the day. Yeah, yeah, well, that's Jerry Lee and all his them. Yeah. Watch the money, shit, she could, uh, they all, some of them together all be able to keep somebody there with her. Yeah. Just a sitter. Sitters don't make that much, you know, maybe $7 an hour or something. Yeah. Uh, not like a nurse would make that you'd have to pay, but... I know she ain't going to want to leave that house, and I don't blame her. I, I, I don't ever want to be putting on that person. Mm -hmm. Like our guy would say, he was up right that person on me, he said, if you just get me home, let me get my pistol. They <laughs> won't <laughs> get me back in this one bitch again. <laughs> so... That's the way I am. I moved down that bow with, with a damn shotgun. Hold them off like I die. Yeah, get the bow. <laughs> Just let me stay here and die by myself. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I, I hope that they can resolve that, you know. It's in, 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 uh, I mean, Kathy and Ed have a pretty uh, mobile lifestyle. They go down to those casinos and always mm -hmm. going somewhere. I, I expect they are kind of thinking about now, you know, taking care of Issy. Uh, well, they'd probably be the only ones. Yeah, they're the only one that's able to do it. You know, and, 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 you know that's the funny thing about the Laird uh, family. Uh, none of those, none of the sisters want to live together. You know, it, 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 the ideal situation would have been for Ainsley Banner to move to over with Issy. You know? Oh, Lord, they... No, Toby would have had to been called over there. <laughs> Break them up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They'd have broke more than their hips. Mm -hmm. About the thing, oh, it's close. They all was coming up and talked on the phone every day, but they just didn't want them to live the same. But that was on the phone. You can hang up. <laughs> yeah. It's not like being looking at somebody all day long. Yeah, well, you know, but, uh, the, the telephone conversation usually end up with Mama crying and cussing mm -hmm. one of them, so I guess it would, wouldn't have worked out if it had been the same house. No. What about Barbara? I hear about Kathy and Ed and yeah, Brian. And and them, you know, they, uh, they probably had a house paid for all the way from Con Park or one of those nice, nicer neighborhoods in Bossier, and uh, they sold that house and went over with their boy, you know, as a pharmacist. Built a damn big house around one of the high scale neighborhoods, new, new subdivisions. So Barbara and them sold their house, and they moved and go build them a damn two store house over there by. <coughs> and, uh, you know, it's, 
just about time they got, because he ain't got but one kid, I don't think, a big two-store house. And by the time they got their house started right there close to him, he said, well, they'd outgrow that house. They're going to have to move on build a little bigger house on down the road. Because he'd probably want to get away from Barbara. <laughs> 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 I mean, like poor J.D. and Elsa chasing Germany around that damn camper trailer. Well, J.T. had moved in and buy a house, and they'd move, so he'd buy and just borrow a damn piece that camper trailer and just pull up out in the yard. They'd move, he'd just go with them, you know, for a while. Happy. About the time J.T. bought the bought my house, they hauled ass somewhere in Mississippi. I don't ever hear much of Aunt Elsie. I guess she calls every now and then. Old Germany and them was going to Europe here. That's the last time I heard from her, Spain or something. And they were going to leave her at some, kind of like an assisted living or something, sister said. So, I don't know. But, uh... Well, we all got that look forward to, I guess, getting incapacitated, but I hope we don't, none of us get down, you know, too damn bad, boy. Yep. Hey, Yep. But Y'all got a good place, y'all. I'm really glad you got a, you ended up with a house like that, you know. Yeah, Mark and Aaron put a storm door on the kitchen up here a couple of weekends ago, and that really, I'm, I've got the door open now, and you can see out, but I just, it, it's better, because the air was coming around that door, the door didn't ever fit the frame. Yeah, well, it's that sunlight in, too, it just makes the whole house a little cheer, more cheerful when you get some light in there. Yeah, so... Yeah, when they opened that door, I said, well, shit, I need to mop or something. I could see the floor. <laughs> yeah, you could see all the dirt on the floor. You had to clean it up. <laughs> so, but anyway, we just wanted to holler, and I'll go look that up on the computer. Well, that's good to hear from you all the time. We'll be back in touch with you. Okay, okay. tell Melissa and them we said hi. Okay, yeah, I will. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to bring the ass around. I'm going to set that farm machine up on one of them chairs and crank it off on them when they get out here. <laughs> oh, they won't know what to do. They'll probably squeal. They'll oh, scream. They'll squeal like a girl, you know. Uh-huh. Like Tim does. He just, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, know, you can play him that video. Of uh, low chair. Of what, Mark? Of low chair, and then we bring y'all a tape one time. Did we leave that with you, the, yeah. of all the videos that we played that night? I don't believe y'all left that down there. Well, it's supposed to. I thought. All those. Maybe Toby and them took it, or yeah, somebody may have taken it. I thought we left it, but it had that of me leaning over, farting so loud, and Tim covering up his head. <laughs> Green to Screaming. Cover his head up. <laughs> and uh, what was it about? It was a conglomeration of a. We put home. a bunch of different stuff on there. You ought to ask him about it and get it back and watch it again. Well, I thought we left one, but anyway. Or we can just send you another one. <laughs> With just low t- And it's got me looking in the wrong end of the camera, that eyeball, when we first got that video camera. You don't remember all that? I remember seeing it, but I don't remember where the tape is. I remember seeing that tape, but I don't remember what happened to it. And Sister telling about Shoney's Hurricane. when her and teen was, and she, he had his plate all fixed so nice, fixing to eat, and she looked over in the next booth and this man was sitting there with shorts on and no drawers and she threw her water all over in teen's face and his plate (laughs) she saw his balls hanging out and it scared her and she swung her water (laughs) well all that's on that tape yeah i I, I remember seeing that but i don't remember i I wish i would yeah i just told them be back tonight i'll see if they got it (laughs) if you can't find it we'll just send another one But where's the sh- I was ashamed for Lisa to see it. I'd first time I'd met her. Oh, Lisa, Lisa, act like I don't know if she's smarter than we are, or she's really that 
naive about things, but she'll look at things like that. It, 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 she won't have no expression on her face, like she, she just can't believe it or she can't comprehend it or something. Well, this must not be funny to her. I don't know. Well, she might be in shock. She don't know what to say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's trying to figure it out. <laughs> she said me sitting here and told me he'll, he'll get up to leave and she just start looking around. She said, oh, are we leaving? You know, it's just like she don't know where, when the, what the, the cadence is or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's always happy with her shit. She, as long as she makes money and, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then he'll spend some of it, he won't, he won't ever cross her yet. Yeah. Well, that's good. As long as it works for both of them. Yeah. yeah they, well, you know, they started going together a couple of years before they got out of school down there. He was pretty much staying there with him, or she had her own apartment. He'd go over there and stay. We never knew what damn phone number to get him at. You know, we just had to call all their apartments around. <laughs> Stays up there at night. On weekends, he's kind of in and out late, but you know. But Is he still working at that place? Yeah, he was. He, he's working at Jane Robinson now. He's glad yeah. to be back with them. You know, they, it's a big company. They have golf tournaments. He went to Dallas last weekend and played golf. And, you know, just happened to be back, and they're talking about opening up and letting him open up his own branch down in Baton Rouge. He said it might be a year or two, but. They're already talking about you know, managing one of them branches down there. Yeah. Should make a little more money. And over this, you know, we don't know what she's going to do. But old Jerry, she's staying over at Bozier, hanging on to that house. And everything to keep him in school. And he ain't doing well, he ain't doing good in school. So, you know, she said it might just be a lost cause. She might mm -hmm. come over here. Yeah. So she may end up living up there. You know. Yeah. I'm putting her trailer down. Yeah. We uh, we got a place for anybody that wants to come, you know, in the family. That's what I told him, you know, I like to keep this thing here so you never know what life's going to deal with you. That's right. Mm -hmm. I miss you. Live here some of these ones. Really yeah. So I don't know what she's going to end up doing. I hadn't talked to her in a while. I will probably try to, she, I know she went to church today, so. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's got some real estate agent friends there that's going to haul around. And there was a mm -hmm. woman up there that helped us. We was up there, she, they, uh, she was always getting us to paint them houses that people moving into. I'm going to call her today. See, uh, so she can't help us. Yeah. So they've talked about it, her moving over there to Washington? Yeah. Uh, she, she really, that's what she really wants to do. And, uh, her and she said her and Tina even talked about that before. Before he got sick. Yeah, I looked for him to move over there. I really did. Yeah. Uh, he'll take care of that baby, you know. Mm -hmm. He'll take care of the daycare, so they would talk about moving over. But uh, people, I talked I talk to one of the real estate agents over a couple of weeks ago, and they said if they have houses around that area, said, uh, said they're selling for more than they advertise for. Mm -hmm. Somebody finds one they like, they'll pay more. Just make sure they get it, you know. Yeah. Or even an apartment. I mean, she doesn't have to start off in the house. Well, yeah, they got just tons of damn townhouses. There's more townhouses and apartments than there is, uh, you know, houses. But unless you get in a good neighborhood with a townhouse, I, mean, that's, that's, I imagine that, uh, that area right around where Hank is, is probably 75% Foreigners, you know. Yeah. Of course, the Koreans are not bad, and some of the other nationalities, but them damn Puerto Ricans and South Americans, them some bitches like you are, and Dallas and Houston, only gang up, mm -hmm. rob everything else, you know. Yeah. All of them working in fast food places, you can't understand them on them damn speakers. Old Ray said he never thought he'd be glad to hear a nigger on the speaker, you know, because he got, he got up there and he couldn't understand it foreigners. You never know what this is going to end up that winter. Right.
I hope she gets to move over there. I'm going to call those Susan Davis and see it. I don't know. I don't guess I can build a room on. That's what I thought would be. You know, I kind of feel sorry for you, Karen. I said, well, ask her why she didn't just move over there with them. She said, well, they hadn't offered. Mm -hmm. You know, she don't want to hold on. Uh, I don't see why they couldn't build a, something there for her. I'd like Billy did for Grandma. Yeah, and then then another one for Tim. You know he's going to follow her. <laughs> no. Nope. Uh, I asked. They called me on that cell phone on the way over in Virginia. I asked him to ask Tim if that woman ever paid him. She owes him twelve hundred dollars mm -hmm. he was working for, and he said no. I said, well, I need to mail you one of these bull medals down here and do her like Grandpa done that old uh, stepmom in Miss Street. If she bent over to the fireplace, he'd jam that bull medal up under her dress. <laughs> Change your mind about paying off. Yeah, I think she sister said she had a cocaine problem so she ain't gonna ever pay him. No, no, she can't make enough money to keep that happening. Mm -mm. No. Well I'm gonna go get on this computer and Mark's gonna smoke a I got a turkey breast yesterday, he's gonna smoke that. <clears throat> and uh, be our Easter. Yeah, it'll be good, uh, you know. She's got her Easter outfit on. She's got rabbit ears sticking out from her bonnet and holding a basket of eggs. <laughs> Make all them outfits, y'all. No, I bought them off eBay. Well, and sister, she didn't know eBay sold them until she, she visited here, and I showed her, and um, they're really cheaper than the ones that you can get in the stores are on different websites. But um, I ordered her three outfits while she was here, to, and they were mailed to her house by the time she got home. But they're cheaper on eBay. Well, see, I saw me and a friend of mine trying to get some stuff up to take over the cancer cell. She got a bunch of ceramic stuff. She, I mean, well, she don't have it got all the stuff to make. Mm -hmm. But I'd like to go over but when I win, I'd like to sell something, you know. But that old goose and all them damn things, that's just like me, I'd sell it where you took it. Yeah, but, you know, the, the goose is about, I think, $30. Um, and, but I, I don't see, I've, I've only seen one other one here at, at in front of a house. So they're bigger up in Ohio, just yeah, well, see, well, I, well, I think where all that started was, it may have been Ohio, but his mommy started that. You go yeah. around Lancaster and they'll ever, some of these houses, you know, they're not Amish, but they're in every all them tourists go, they'll have half acre of them geese and things, you know, ducks and things. Yeah. That's where I think where mommy started that. You know? Yeah, there's a place that's got them, but they're not having any geese. They have pigs and rabbits and deer and every other animal, but I have not seen a goose. But, um, yeah, there's one of those cement places that are pretty close to y'all. I mean, Mark never did get a chance mm -hmm. to go by there, but I was going to go by there and see if it had some. Remember that place, Mark, over where we I said, Oh, yeah. And there's a, there's a couple more, too, yeah. around. But we the, drove by and had all the figures out in the yard. Yeah, the, they're heavy, but uh, I'm going to take some more pictures and maybe I'll mail y'all uh because Pat never did get to see her clothes. You saw some of them when she was when you were here. Yeah, no, she never had seen the clothes on. But I'll I'll take some pictures and mail them, print them all. Okay. All right. But um, and I've got to where I buy the kids' sunglasses like at the dollar store for a dollar because they fit her, and I keep a pair of sunglasses on her, <laughs> different colors to go with her outfits. Yeah, I'd love to get some of them things, and uh, I'm going to take, uh, you know, take a picture where I show them a little sand that woman and me and her try to get something going. Like going to Canton. Is it Canton, Mississippi? No, Canton, uh, Texas. Oh. Uh, they're supposed to be the biggest trade base in the United States. Mm -hmm. They say you can't see it in two days. It's just open two days a month. Yeah, we have one here at the end of the last Saturday of every month. They have a big flea market here. 
People come from all over. It's at the fairground. But I've only been a couple of times. I get lost. I, it's too much walking. But you see any and everything. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I'm ever up there when I want. But they, they, they rent them little uh, golf carts over at camp. I, I know I can't walk mm -mm. to see everything. If I ever get to go over, I'll rent the one of them golf carts. Yeah. Well, I guess we're going to go then. Mark's sitting here asleep. I'm not asleep. <laughs> Your eyes are closed. Nothing to look at. I might talk to y'all later on today. Okay. Are we? What time is she coming? You don't know. No, no, they don't get up about noon. Well. They can stir around, start calling. Yeah. Oh, Justin, he got up early. Oh. Instead of having coffee, he'd make the phone call. Well, we may call back this evening then. All right, then. Well, we'll talk to y'all a little later. Okay. Okay, love you. <laughs> love you. Bye. Bye.